Computing is everywhere. You know, we see it in our cars, it's in our houses, and if you listened yesterday, it's going to be in our bodies. What is the technology that's going to literally make or break your industry and or allow you to solve grand challenges? You know, listening to all this stuff and dreaming about what could be next, I think becomes almost a bar that gets set. We have the chance to sort of redefine medicine, not just by a bucket of parts or by a group of ologies, but maybe to redefine how we, how we do healthcare. We are going to take robotics to the very next level because the combination of low power, small size, and low cost allows everybody to do this. And that means we all share together in the advances. It's a great exchange of ideas. It's caused me to reflect on what I was doing and how I might be able to do it on a much larger scale and have a much more positive impact on the world. If I have a bulb, let's say a 60 watt bulb, needs 60 watts, what does the brain need? 20 watts. I remember leaping up and down saying, it works, it works. I felt like Frankenstein's monster. How did they make that that efficient? Wow. It's really mind expanding. It makes you think about the future. In every generation, there are people that come up with these great science fiction ideas. Wouldn't it be cool if we could do this? And then the next generation grows up and does it. They combine robotics to nerve endings and whatever they think they can move the robotic arm. That is pretty much what Robocop was about. That is science chasing creativity. We're going to evolve and we're going to get better ideas. There's room for competition and there's great room for cooperation. Bringing together people who understand the problem and people who understand possible solutions is perhaps the only way forward. You need to take Singular University into the ghettos to inspire them to compete. Singularity University is an opportunity to bring people from every conceivable walk of life with people that at the same time share a common aspiration, and that is to do better and be better and make a difference in people's lives. If you think of, say, the, the Apollo moon landings, I mean, it was only a handful of people that went to the surface of the moon. But, but actually, we, we all went there. I mean, the whole world. You know, it was one of those things that made you glad to be a human being. So we, we, I think we want more of that stuff. What are the most powerful technologies in the world, and where are they going to be in two, five, and 10 years, such that we as CEOs, philanthropists, thinkers, visionaries can create a force for change? Somebody is going to do something that just changes the world in this area. I know it's coming.